Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. I hope you're all doing so well. I feel like it's been so long since we did a Happy Home Paradise video, but here we are. We're doing Ketchup's Home today. I'm so excited. I love my little tomato bestie and I'm so excited to show you guys this build I did for her. I actually did this quite some time ago, so it's gonna be a journey we go on together because I don't really remember what I did. Also, I'm gonna kind of do these happy home videos differently. Normally I used to show you guys every single person that was ever on the beach, but if we're gonna do a vacation home for every single villager, let's just get to the chase, you know what I mean? Let's just cut to the chase, we get it, you know. You clicked on this video for ketchup, you know that's who we're here for. So let's just get into it. She said she wanted, you know, a place with tomatoes, food, tomatoes, red. And so I said, okay, food tomatoes red i i think i can handle that i will say is this the most original build i've ever done in my entire life i don't that i don't know but is it cute yeah is it ketchup i think so you'll have to tell me now here i am i'm still trying to do my goal of um using doing a home in every single space before I start repeating them, but oh boy, is it getting hard. I don't know why I chose this one. I it, Because the options were limited, I guess? It's kind of woodsy. I don't know if ketchup is giving me total woodsy vibe, but you know, we're just gonna make it work. As always, we're always doing a two floor home. I feel like that's just, that's just my standard at this time. It's very rare for me to do a one level home. So two floor it is, if you guys are new here, you know, or if you're new here, you wouldn't know, but here's what happens. I usually like to make the bottom floor the main kind of thing with their prompt or like small business, whatever they kind of are going for. And then I usually do the top floor as their actual living quarters, their bedroom, all that business. So here we are in our space, very woodsy, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Shh. Is, is she your new favorite forest core villager? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's get into time-lapse mode here. You'll see we're already starting with some wallpaper and flooring placed because frankly, I couldn't decide and it took me way, way too long. So we just, we just skipped, we skipped some of it. But I decided to do a tomato red diner. That was my goal here. I have already done a pizzeria, so I decided not to make this a pizzeria, but to do a full red diner moment, use all the classic diniture, diniture? The diner furniture, and just kind of roll with it. You know what I mean? I definitely had a little bit of a hard time here trying to decide what I wanted to do for these counters because I, I like to have the villager be able to actually walk through the space. So to do that, I needed to leave a little bit of an open section. And at first it all just looked a little, a little funky to me. I also didn't know how much white furniture I wanted to do, how much red furniture I wanted to do, what the perfect balance of it was. I was not sure. I also did not know if I wanted to make a counter or do the actual diner counter thing, which is why you see me kind of playing with both options here. I think both options are good. I think just, you know, in the end, I, I, I did what I did, okay? I did what I did. I did the diner vibe, you know. She did the diner vibe. You doing the little, I don't think this is that, I don't think this is the most creative thing I've ever done. I like it, I like it, I do. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We're making a diner. It's red, there are ketchups. There are ketchups, there are tomatoes. And, um, and I think I'm going to just stop talking and allow you to enjoy the nice little speed build. Watch this diner come together. See all the tomato items I use. I use probably every tomato item to ever exist and that's totally fine. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit.
And there you guys have it. Here is our bottom floor, our little red tomato diner. Again, I feel like, you know, this isn't the most creative thing in the whole world, but that doesn't mean I do not love how it turned out. I think it came out so, so good. I think it's so very catch up and I had so, so much fun doing it. You guys gotta let me know, would you eat in this diner? Are we drinking these, these tomato juices? Are we eating all of the tomato items let me know now going upstairs i had some i had some more difficulty up here to be honest i knew i wanted to make her living space of course but i wanted to carry the vibe from downstairs which was of course red and tomato y but i wanted to do it in a way that wasn't the most horrible thing i've ever seen in my life I thought a good way to break up all the red would be to use the white flooring and these big white windows, almost like, I don't know. This is like a nice building. She's living in like some kind of luxe apartment building, like on top of her diner, and I'm kind of here for it. So I'm kind of trying to use the red cutesy items here, but also try to construct a living space. I wasn't sure exactly what was the most crucial item here for um miss ketchup i always kind of like to figure out like what's most important am i making a kitchen for them am i making a living room am i making an office i always have a bedroom but what else because she has this huge diner downstairs i decided not to give her a huge kitchen moment up here i decided to kind of focus on a nice place she can relax away from the diner maybe she even has the other diner employees come up here after work and we all hang out so i wanted to kind of make it a cozy living space as well as a bedroom i use these little stairs do they have a purpose um not really not not really just to like leave more to the imagination i guess like ooh, what's upstairs maybe she has a whole secret room up there maybe she's got like a stage so she could go up there and be a pop star maybe she's got like I don't know, like treasure up there or something. It's kind of mysterious. I wish I could have done that on both sides, but unfortunately you can't use the stair dresser item the other way because then you'll see the actual like dresser handles, which is fine, but it wouldn't match the other side. So that bothered me too much to do it. So, so sorry that is not symmetrical, but just, you know, bear with me, pretend it is. I also decided to do a nice little dressing space for Miss Thing. I felt like, you know, I feel like peppy villagers just like, you know, they like their makeup. They like looking beautiful. They always look beautiful. So they need to have a space to do it. Now over here, I had no idea what this was. <laughs> what is this little very, very narrow space I was trying to do? I really said, let me give myself no room at all. And I was trying to do like a nice bathroom moment. Um, it didn't work out, as you can see. It, it just wasn't really working out. So I decided to do a nice little TV sitting area instead because for some reason there's no TV where the actual couch is. You need to go into this weird little narrow space. And I don't know. I was trying to make it cozy and cute. Like, oh, I always say like sleepover vibes. We're going for like sleepover vibes. Like, okay, this is where we go and like watch our movies. And the other area with the couches is more like a formal sitting area. You know, maybe you drink your tea over there, but you're not like sitting watching a movie in there. You know, you're going to the other room to watch your very old fashioned TV. Apparently, Miss Ketchup has a vintage TV and she needs a little bit of an upgrade, but you know, that's fine. So that's pretty much my explanation of what I was trying to do here. Again, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of it and I will stop talking and let you just watch and see what happens.
and there you have Ketchup's lovely, lovely living space. I think it turned out so cute. I had no idea what we were doing for a while, but I really love how it came out. It feels very cozy to me, feels very Ketchup. Again, similar vibes to downstairs, but feels different enough and like this is her place to relax away from her busy, busy diner life. It's all very red. We got, you know, some like younger youthful I younger and youthful okay same same thing you know what I mean um we've got some like more youthful items in my head she's a little baby so she's got some like stuffed animals and things like that and she's just living her fantasy and we love that for her now for outside it seemed like there was really one own one explanation of what to do with this space and that was tomato farm and tomato farm alone so that is exactly what this is why this tomato farm is in the middle of the woods i i couldn't tell you but apparently this is a very great spot for tomatoes to grow so let's just go with it and not think about it too too hard okay great so i'm laying down some pathing i love to alternate the different kinds of colors whenever i do a little farm moment i just like it and we're doing all all tomato all tomato all the time. We don't need anything else. We don't need other crops. We need tomatoes and that's about it. I also am playing with the different kinds of fencing. I kind of liked using that longer, I don't know what that fence is called, that runs along the back. I don't know. I like that one. I like it. I like that it's different from the other one, the like white picket fence. I don't know what any of these fences are called, the simple fence. I don't know. I like it. I'm using my pathing that I use a lot in my European city core. Well, at this point, the European city core, what? European town core? European town core island that I made is now done, but these are the paths that I love to use on there. So you're seeing a lot of those. You're seeing a lot of those paths. And yeah, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a tomato. It's a tomato farm. We've got some outdoor seating. When it's too busy, you can't get inside. You can wait on this lovely bench out here and drink some tomato juice. And we love that for you. Again, not not too too crazy here. And we're changing Ketchup's outfit, of course. Got to give her a nice little employee uniform. I think she just looks so cute. And there you have it. That is the outdoor space. Again, nothing like overly creative, I think. I think pretty, pretty self-explanatory with this one. But, you know, giving you some narration anyway. And there you have it. It is montage time. Time for me to stop talking and let's take a nice little look at our main room. And yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please let me know what you thought down below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel as I post lots of Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Happy Home Paradise content. I stream, I post videos, we're doing the darn thing, we're having a great time. And you know, let me know who you want me to do a home for next. I wanna do a home for everybody. Like I said, I don't know if this was my most creative moment in the sun, but I do definitely like today's build. So let me know what you would have done for ketchup too. How could I have made this different? How could I have innovated this little ketchup, ketchup tomato zone? Let me know. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I am sending all the love to you all and thank you all so, so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Is it time to wave yet? Yes, it is. Bye-bye.